Jesus. What are you doing here? How are you seated? What are you doing here? No, I came to check on you. To check on me for what? Are you a doctor that you've come to check on me? I'm sick or, or, or I'm some bread being baked in an oven. You don't want me to burn. What do you mean? Why, why are you here? Sweetheart, is there a problem with checking on you? Yes, there's a problem with checking on Okay, what is not wrong with you checking on me? If I may ask. So I cannot even have breathing space. You're expecting to come and find me at work doing what? Eating or dancing? I can't even have, you're like a lactating goat. You're looking for me. Six hours later, you're looking for me as if you're going to breastfeed me. Don't you have anything to do? You're checking on me. Uh, who, what kind of responsible husband goes to check on their wives when they are working empty-handed? Without anything. No bread, no nothing. You've not carried anything. Not even flowers. Bring me something to eat at least. People have seen you marching in here with that stomach. They might think you're walking into a ward to give birth. They'll forget it's a saloon. What's the... My reputation is at stake. I've been telling people I'm married to Adenzo Washington only for a sack to roll in as my husband. Please, ah, uh, uh, mm -mm. you don't have anything to do. No, You're checking on me for what? Why don't you go to an electricity company and choke an electricity bill? It's not been paid for three months. Go, find something else to do. You go check on that bill and pay it. Yeah, what? Yeah. What? What, you think? <laughs> now, Jared, what if I was working in a restaurant? Mm -hmm. If I was working in a restaurant, what would happen? What kind of checking would you be checking? Because we know how you eat. What kind of checking would you be doing? You would carry a mattress and check in and just be a permanent tenant. Yeah. Ah, my reputation is at stake. This is hard. People are going to look at, ah, wait, so you are marching in hoping to find beautiful girls like these ones and write them into thinking you are a shareholder in this business. And tell them, oh yeah, you see? I am a husband, so the fact that I'm the husband, we own the business together. People will think you own this business with, why are you even touching your chin? I don't want people to think I am torturing you. You've come here by your own free will, empty handed. One wonders why you came here anyway. What? What? Did you just have nothing to do no. or what? No, no, like I said, I was free. You were free. With that jacket, people are going to think you are a motorcycle rider. You've come to check on me. I've been here enjoying my work. You know, it's one thing. If employees see you, I can fire them. Yes. But now what do I do when my favorite customer has confirmed that I'm actually married to something like this? What am I supposed to do? Exactly what am I supposed to So, Mr. Checking on people, what can we offer you? What can <laughs> we offer you? Uh, maybe a soda and a cake. Of course, I knew it. It has to do with eating. So you were hungry, you had nothing to do. You decided to come here and eat so down. Get out. Get, Jared, get out. Get out. Even if you go, even if you stay, it's the same. My reputation is already at stake. People are going to see you getting out and think I might have worked on your hair. When we all know you don't have a hair. Your pubic hair came on your head. You just come in here in public to kill me. I swear, what kind of nonsense is this? Why did I even get the money? Jared, why do you do this to me? Why would you do never come back here? Ah, where were we? Can you why why would someone do something like that? Why? Mburav, Rav checking on me. You're spying! <laughs>